What's up, guys, and welcome back to another Murder Mystery Tuesday. It's me, your host, Brewery. If you're new to my channel, every Tuesday I release a murder mystery video about a crime that I've been obsessing over. And on Sundays, if you love fashion, I drop a fashion sheen haul. I also have a surprise for you guys, which I am going to release very soon. I'm still working on it, but it's going to be wonderful. And I know that a lot of you guys are going to enjoy it. So I can't wait for that. Today, story is a little bit crazy. Like I said, I obsess over murder mystery and this case is an old one, but it's resurfacing. So a lot of um, a lot of new information has been popping up about this. So I wanted to do this one. It's kind of weird. If you're new to my channel, please go like and subscribe. So don't leave me hanging. Only if you enjoy me. If you don't enjoy me, it's okay. I completely understand. I'm not everybody's flavor, but I have my own flavor though. All right, so let's get right into it. Today we'll be talking about the suitcase killer, Heather Mack. Heather Mack and her boyfriend murder her mother while on vacation to Bali, Indonesia. They butcher her and they stuff her in a suitcase. Crazy as hell. Yeah. So Heather Mack is the daughter to James L. Mack, who was a notable jazz player and composer. And mother, Sheila Von Wise Mack. They met, they got married, and they had Heather in 1995. They had a pretty successful life because of James. He was known in society as an important person in music. So they lived a very lavish life, and they were used to that. James Mack was previously married. He has children from his previous marriage, but there's... um. That there's not that much history about them due to the fact that this story and their life surfaces when Heather Mack murders her mother, which was very publicized. Even though it was in Indonesia, the fact that they were from here and the father was James L. Mack, it just blew everything like out of the water. And how she passes her time in an Indonesia prison gets everybody like, what the hell? Yeah, super crazy. James O'Mac, this is their early life of Heather and James and Sheila. Mind you, Heather was born in 1995. In 2001, the Macs go on Royal Caribbean Mediterranean cruise. And during that trip, James suffers a foot injury for which he didn't receive adequate medical treatment for from the ship doctor. Resulting oh. in partial paralysis, he filed suit against Royal Caribbean saying that he was partly paralyzed and had to urinate in a bottle. But this case took many years to resolve. If I had to pee in a bottle, I would be so hot. You know what it is to go on vacation and not enjoy your vacation because you got fucking hurt and nobody was helping you? I also them too if it was me for sure. So in 2004, police were called to Mac's residence over claims that the children from James' previous relationship were denied access to their father by Heather's mother, Sheila, who would turn off the lights and pretend that nobody was home. <laughs> that goes to show you already who Sheila was as a person, to be able to keep him away from his other children as if Heather was his only child. In 2006, the Max went on vacation to Greece during the trip James dies in the hotel from a pulmonary embolism on August 9th. It's reported that his body was left in the morgue while Heather and Sheila continued their vacation. That's so wrong. I wonder what Heather was thinking at that time. Like, mom, my dad is dead and we're still out here enjoying ourselves. Like, I don't want to enjoy myself. Or who knows? Maybe not. Because then again, she does butcher her mom. A settlement in 2001's lawsuit was reached. The settlement for the Sioux for Royal Caribbean was actually settled in 2011. He had already passed. After legal fees, $340,667,000 was awarded to Sheila Mack and $500,000 to the estate of James Mack. Despite the existence of a will dated five days prior, willing his entire estate to Heather Mack, the 500000 was awarded to Sheila Mack by a judge in Cook County, Illinois. No transcript for the case is available, and Heather Mack claims that her mother misled the court to get the money. A murderer is a murderer, and nobody deserves to get killed, okay? The only judge is God, and I know that revenge feels so sweet 
but nobody deserves to be killed, okay? So I'm pretty sure that the relationship between Heather and her mother was super sour already. There was something happening inside that family and nobody knew what was happening. The mother was greedy and apparently didn't care about her husband enough to stop her vacation and attend to her husband while he was already dead. I'm sure Heather resented Sheila because of that because at the end of the day, that's your father. And you know, you're always gonna love your father depending obviously on the situations or whatever. But in this case, she loved her father. That was the problem. It is reported that the police were called to the Mac home on 86 occasions on theft and domestic violence report cases between January 2004 and June 2013, all relating to domestic incidents between mother and daughter. In January 2010, Heather punched her mother's broken ankle. Heather was also accused of stealing $1,000 in February 2011. Heather broke her mother's arm and then removed the phone cord to prevent her mother from calling 911. In July 2011, Heather again threatened her mother. It's a lot of threatening. And also in 2012, she bites her mother, leaving a bruise. But Sheila refuses to allow the police to take a picture. I wonder why. Heather attends Oak Park and River Forest High School from 2010 to 2014. While attending Oak Park, Heather begins dating Tommy Schaefer, an unemployed rapper. Oh, we all know those. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's mother did not approve of their relationship and so she sold their house and moved her and Heather to Gold Coast, Chicago. Despite this, Heather became pregnant by Tommy. According to her lawyer, Heather had had two abortions under her mother's control and her mother was seeking to obtain a power of attorney over her daughter to enforce the third abortion. At the time that Sheila booked their final trip to Bali, where she was still waiting for blood work to find out if Heather was really pregnant. This was the last trip that that lady was gonna take. In 2014, Sheila and Heather arrived at San Regis Hotel in Bali. While they had flown first class, her mother had a drunken fall and was bedridden on painkillers. Heather stole her mother's credit card and booked the business class flight, flight to Bali for her boyfriend, Tommy. Tommy claimed that he had gone to Bali to tell Sheila about Heather's pregnancy, but emails later really shown that that was a lie. On the night of August 7, 2014, security camera, security camera video at the St. Regis shows Sheila having an argument with Schaefer in the hotel lobby. Shortly after, Tommy Schaefer kills Sheila with a metallic blunt object in their hotel, which then led to Heather and Tommy stuffing the body of Sheila Von Wise Mac into a suitcase. The two then put the suitcase with the body into the trunk of a cab outside St. Regis. After the couple did not return, a security guard from blood outside of the suitcase and advised the cab driver to go to the police station. After police found the body inside the suitcase, both Mac and Schaefer were arrested at a nearby motel. The couple told police that Sheila was killed by robbers, but they were able to escape. <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that. Sheila was really trying to control Heather the same way that she was trying to control her husband James by not letting James see his kids and by not letting the kids see James. Now, I wanna point out the situation with the will. Five days before he dies, allegedly, the will was changed. I'm gonna say that she was the one that changed the will and she probably made him sign the pieces of paper and he was probably doing really, really bad and he died. She took advantage of her husband in the way that she took advantage of her daughter. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'm pretty sure that anybody will lose their fucking shit if their mom is trying to control every single little thing about them. The poor girl was already a senior in high school when she met Tommy. She just wanted to be with Tommy. And if she wanted to have a child, that was her choice. And her mother made her have two abortions, which was gonna lead to a third one. If her mother falsified documents for a will, I'm pretty sure that she would have falsified documents to get that power of attorney for Heather. Like I said, I'm not saying that it's okay that Heather murdered her mother. I'm not saying that. But people do lose their shit because of what other people do. Let's go to the trial. On August 15, 2014, a urine test confirmed that Mac was pregnant, which was initially thought to be a ruse to be sent home. September 19, Schaefer admitted to killing Sheila and Heather admitted to helping him stuff her body 
into the suitcase. They both were charged with premeditated murder on January 14, 2015, which was punishable by death. Schaefer claims that he had killed Sheila Von Weismack after she had threatened to kill their unborn baby and choked him for half a minute. Heather Mack was sentenced to 10 years in prison and Tommy Schaefer was sentenced to 18. Judges sentencing said that they were lenient to Heather because she had given birth to a baby. On September 23rd, 2015, the cousin of Tommy Schaefer, Robert Bibb, was arrested in Chicago on federal charges for conspiracy for advising Mack and Schaefer about how to kill Mack's mother. He was sentenced to nine years in prison on June 2nd, 2017, on one count of conspiracy to commit foreign murder. The plea deal stated that Bibb was aware that Heather had offered Tommy 50,000 to kill her mother and that Bibb advised Schaefer on how to kill her, that he encouraged him to kill her. So supposedly Heather had offered her boyfriend money to kill her mother, which I don't think that's true. You all know how that plea deal thing works, right? If somebody gets arrested and you are charged with conspiracy to get you to snitch on that person, they will give you a lesser sentence. I think this is what's happening here. I think Bibb was offered a lesser sentence to admit to something that didn't really happen. I think that Tommy did confide in his cousin and spoke to him about the situation, but I don't think Heather offered him money to kill his mother because she clearly stuffed her mother in the suitcase as well. Now, I'm sure that they did plot it, clearly. There's evidence that they did, but I, like I said, I don't think she paid him. That might be false. Mac was the beneficiary of $1.6 million in trust fund from her mother, which would pay her a small annual payment until the age of 30, and then the balance all at once. During the court case, up to 150,000 was initially approved to cover legal expenses, plus smaller payments for food and personal expenses. Sheila's brother, Bill Wise, the administrator of the estate, expressed concern that the money was being used to cover bribes. When a demand came from the Indonesia lawyer for a further 200,000 lump sum, the final deposition of the trust fund was resolved in 2018, settling in favor to Heather's daughter, the little baby that she had, because she gave birth while she was in prison. Heather Mack received a total of 34 months remission for her prison sentence, including a six month Independence Day remission award by President Joko Windodo in August of 2021 to be freed from prison on October 29, 2021. This was not that long ago. She was released from prison in Indonesia. And that her daughter was being raised by an Indonesian woman. Indonesian immigration indicated that both would be immediately deported. So even though the baby was born in Indonesia, they still put it as if the baby was born here in the United States. Heather was released from the prison not that long ago, on the 29th of October. And when she steps foot here in the United States, as soon as she gets off the plane, they arrest her on the spot. They are charging her here in the United States for a crime that she committed in Indonesia and she served seven years for. Her and Tommy. Tommy is still serving in Indonesia. He's not out yet, but Heather is. They took the child away from Heather and Heather is now in court fighting for her freedom. I don't think, okay, so if Heather would have killed her mother here, fine, don't let her out. But if she served her time somewhere where she already killed somebody and they decided to let her out, that's on them. How are you gonna recharge her for a crime which she did not commit here? Is it because she's American? That's the only reason why you're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Anywho, so she was brought here and she's being charged with conspiracy and obstruction charges. They'll probably give her, what, 10 more years for that? And her daughter is gonna be left with who? Tommy Schaefer's mother or Sheila's brother? Who is the baby gonna be left with? You know, the baby was with the mom for the first two years and then an Indonesian woman raised her. And now she finally gets a hold of her child that her child's like six years old and she's not gonna see her mom anymore. While Heather is in prison in Indonesia, she's using her cell phone. Um, they allow her to raise her child until the child is two years old while she's in prison. 
she there's parties she's singing she's being filmed constantly by cameramen and she's just obviously it to her it's not living a lavish life but it wasn't like if you're in prison here where if you don't got a toothbrush you gotta steal a toothbrush from your neighbor and then there's a possibility you might get shanked for even trying to steal that toothbrush she didn't have to worry about that dude she was on her cell phone, she would smoke cigarettes, she had her baby, she would dance, they would have parties, she would sing. It's crazy how she spent her seven years in that prison. So I'm pretty sure that these people down here in the United States were like, she didn't really have a miserable time in prison, so let's make her life miserable here. Fucked up. And I don't think she wanted to come back over here because she probably thought, she had a cell phone, like I said, so she had to have communication with people from the United States. So I'm pretty sure that when that happened to Bib, they had told her what was happening, that Bib was being charged with conspiracy to commit murder and that she was gonna be charged with the same thing. So yeah i told you the story is freaking crazy i guess we shall see where the story leads for heather mack now that she's being charged with conspiracy um here in the united states um i'm curious to know if she's going to be charged and if she is going to be charged how long is she going to serve and what's going to happen to her baby and i'm also curious to know what's going to happen to tommy when he gets out because like i said he's serving 18 years and Heather Mack only serves seven. So he still has a long way to go. Until next time, guys. It's such a pleasure to do these videos for you. I love storytelling and reading for you guys. It's the most interesting thing besides my regular life, of course. Because I'm so interesting. <laughs> um, come back next Tuesday for another murder mystery. And on Sunday for Sheen Ha, which I'm gonna switch the name and I'm just gonna call it Fashion Sunday. Because even though I do order a lot of things from Sheen, I order a lot of things from different places like Fashion Nova and I like different outfits from like Walmart. Walmart has this brand, it's called True and True. I think that's how you say it. That their material is actually really good. They have a lot of good um, clothes there as well. So I don't know, I'm thinking about changing it. And of course, my surprise for you guys that's soon gonna come. I know you guys are gonna love it. It's an experience and you guys can grow with me. All right, so until next time, stay safe. And remember, watch out for your neighbor, for your brother, for your husband, for your wife. You never know. People could lose their shit in an instant. Love you guys.